Welcome to the Nimbus Marketing Podcast. Welcome to another episode of the Nimbus Marketing Podcast. I'm Chris, and I'm here today with a very special episode. We are talking about CoSchedule. CoSchedule is a piece of software that I use to schedule social media messages uh, for different businesses that I uh, manage their social accounts for. And I want to show you how useful it really is. I'm going to take you feature by feature here to show you how it makes my job easier and it makes my clients look really great. So let's take a look. Let's start with um, the home screen here. And actually, as you can see, um, I'm just here in Safari. I've got the top sites uh, you know, up here as a new tab, but I've actually got CoSchedule as a pinned tab. I use it that often and I need quick access to it. So I have to make sure that it is right at my fingertips, ready to go. So if we look over here uh, to the home page, you can see you can actually add tasks in here. Now, I personally like to use either my calendar or my reminders or even an app called Wonderlist to uh, you know talk uh, about tasks and you know little to-do lists but the great thing is you can do that here you know you can say um, you know need to take uh, photos for new products right and so there's a task you know and you can uh, assign it to different people if you have different people on your team of course I'm a solopreneur here um, so I'm just doing it for me. Uh, you, I can add a due date, so custom due date, and that can be for uh, Sunday. So, and it automatically puts it into the tomorrow uh, column here. It's not a column, but this row here. I can just drag it around, drag and drop it, and I can say it's finished. If, if I check it off, super easy to do. Let's go over to marketing calendar, right? So this is where all of the real magic happens. Um, what we're gonna, what we're looking at here is you can see I've got lots of different social profiles. And before we actually look into this calendar, let me show you um, what kind of social profiles you can connect. Because you're probably wondering, well, can you do this to, you know, can you connect this to Facebook? Can you connect this to Instagram? How easy is it? So if we say connect a social profile, um, you know, you've got Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, LinkedIn, Pinterest, not only that, but you can also, um, you can also connect your WordPress blog, believe it or not. Uh, you can connect to quite a few other things. We're going to look at that in the integrations tab here in just a bit. But not only can you do a personal profile on Facebook, you can also do a Facebook page or even a Facebook group. That's very important. Personal profile for Instagram or even a business account. And it knows the difference. So, uh, and same thing with a LinkedIn company or a LinkedIn profile. So it's very, um, very important that, uh, that you, you've got these distinctions in here and it has them. So that's, that's really important. Um, let's take a look. So I'm, I'm managing, as you can see, I'm managing a, a GNC account here for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, for sure. Uh, Venture Out Vegas, which we've talked about before on the podcast, uh, and then a new one, Lakeland CBD Wellness. Um, so that's what's going on here. If we go out to the marketing calendar, though, back here, I want to show you... Um, this is this is all of the social messages uh, that's happening here. So what we're doing is we're looking at all of the messages that I've uh, put in the past that have been published in the past, as well as ones that have yet to go out. So for example, today uh, at 10:09, uh, I'm going to get a notification. GNC uh, is going to need to publish this post right here, and if I click on it. Uh, I can see it in a little further detail. And this is particularly to their Instagram account, right? Uh, here's what the picture looks like. Here's what the post is going to look like. Um, and I want to show you how I create some of these posts. Uh, not necessarily 
how to put a good post together, but how it's done in co-schedule as opposed to some of the other platforms that I've used before. So to create a message in co-schedule, usually I just kind of hover over uh, a date uh, on the calendar. So we're gonna click on, for example, this little plus button in the top right corner, and I'm gonna hit create new social. Now, I mentioned to you before about uh, the word press integration so I can say blog post um, but you can do email marketing campaign because you can integrate this with your email marketing software it's really great we can talk about that a little later um, there's so many really great features here in CoSchedule but we're gonna say social and we're gonna say social message right so that's what gets us to creating just a standard social media post and you can select a profile so let's just say it's going to be GNC Lakeland Plant City, and we've got an image that we can put in here. Uh, and now it stores all of the images and videos that you upload, you know, previously. So you can see some of the ones that we've put in here before. And let's just go and get one. So here's one. We can use that. We'll say save. And you notice that um, if I want to add another picture, I can upload a brand new picture. I can drag and drop it. I can go find it in the finder and also I can connect Google Drive which is really cool if you have all of your stuff in Google Drive um, so especially if you're working with clients who you need them to uh, you need them to upload photos you know if, if you're working with a retail client this is actually pretty common uh, where you need to empower them to take photos and videos and it's a good idea for them to have access to their own Google Drive uh, or maybe a folder on your Google Drive. And then that's where they can drop all of the raw media, photos, videos, whatever it is. And then you can go and grab that and do whatever you need to with it. Um, lots of great collaboration methods here. But if we're in this social message here, uh, we can type up a message. So, um, you know, be sure to take advantage of this BOGO 80% off uh, while the offer is good. You know, something like that. Uh, you can add some hashtags, hashtag whey, hashtag uh, protein, hashtag Lakeland, things like that. Once you're done making your you know, composing your post in here. And of course, you know, feel free to copy and paste from a notepad or something. I do that a lot myself. I pre-compose the posts or templates um, of posts into my notes just as a quick, easy reference. That way I can copy and paste into here. Um, you'll notice at the bottom, it'll ask you when you want to publish this post. Of course, it knows which date you selected already but the time i love this feature so much it saves me so much time for co-schedule to actually pick the time and you're saying how is it able to pick the time let me show you here so you can say custom time and you can you can give it a very specific time and there are plenty of of opportunities where that is going to be the most appropriate uh type of post uh, and, and method to to make you know a, a very specifically timed post maybe if it's a new year's eve uh you know we just had that recently and so you can say happy new year right at the stroke of midnight um or if it's something that needs to go out straight away in the morning uh then yes you need to you need to make that happen at a very specific time but i love this whole best time feature co-schedule Unlike, uh, you know, some of the other platforms that I've used, like um, Hootsuite or Buffer or um, some, of, some of these other ones, this right here, this right here has an AI engine that uh, is very smart and it knows what it's doing. Um, it picks the best time of day depending on the day that you have scheduled it for uh, based on your audience, based on um, when they are most active uh, on that particular social platform, on uh, your particular audience, it's, it's specific to, so, so it just understands a lot of really great things and it factors that in 
within milliseconds and understands when to put that post. So let me just show you here. If I hit add message and I've selected best time, it's going to then change the time to 7.42 p.m. on Tuesday. So it knows that's actually the best time to make a post on Instagram for this account on that day. This just makes my job so much easier. Now, if I need it to go out uh, differently, I can say best time between 8 and 11 a.m. If it's a morning post, which this one might be, so I'll hit save. And so it recalculates and there it is, 8.22 a.m. So it knows if I, I need a morning post, then it's going to have to be at that time you know, if it's going to be between 8 and 11. So I'm just going to get rid of this post because I'm not actually going to send this out. But as you can see, I've done, you know, I've, I've, I've composed all these other posts. Um, and it's, you know, it's really just made my life a lot easier. It's made my job a lot easier. It makes my clients very happy uh, that they see the performance, they see the engagement, um, they're like, gosh, this is this is just snapping. This is this is really uh, helping us out here. So, uh, and and they don't really care that I'm using CoSchedule or something else or or whatever. Uh, they just care: are people seeing our posts? Are they liking them? Are they commenting? Are they engaging? Are we getting more you know traffic in the store? That's really you know, or or visitors to the website. That's really what they care about. So let's go on to a couple of other things here before we leave the marketing calendar. Of course, you can hit create. There's even more options. Uh, duplicate, project, uh, you can bulk social upload, which is really interesting. I haven't actually used that feature yet, but I'm curious to do that at some point. So uh, you can create tasks that you know we saw earlier um, in this episode where you can create yourself little tasks and to-do lists, uh, you can actually put that here on the calendar, uh, a calendar event, you know, so you can say, uh, we're having a big BOGO sale and you know, it's on this date. So this becomes your calendar. I mean, I use my personal calendar a lot for, you know, scheduling things that are not actual posts, uh, but you can use that in here as well. This can become your master calendar. Um, blog post, you know, so we can say more options. Uh, you can give it a blog title. So um, the five best proteins to take in 2020, you know, um, we can say create project. And there it is. Um, so you can, I mean, you can link this to so many different things. It's really just great. Um, and, and as you can tell, I actually haven't used that feature yet, um, uh, just because we, we do our process a little different, but it's pretty great. So top left here, let's go to ReQ. I want to talk to you about ReQ because this is a feature that is specific to CoSchedule, another specific feature. So one was the best time AI feature to when to put what's the best time to post your messages, which is going to save you a lot of time and headache and, you know, guessing and none of that. You, this just knows. Um, but this requeue is super great. And so if you've got posts that you've seen those quote cards uh, or those quote graphics where somebody has quoted somebody and it's in a really pretty picture and they attribute them. Uh, or something like that, that or more generic content, I would say, if you're creating any amount of generic content, or you see it over here on the left, I've got motivation Monday. Um, so if you have these posts that could easily just go out at any time, uh, then you can add them in here. And what ReQ does, let me go back to, um, let me actually turn on sending let me see here. Yeah. So you can actually say, I want a collection of these generic content motivation Monday posts to be able to be scheduled at 9 a.m. every Monday. And ReQ will take previous posts that you've made 
and potentially fill in the gaps. Okay, so if I'm here in ReQ and I've clicked on Motivation Monday, I can say I want to make a new ReQ message. So I can say, yeah, this is going to be for GNC of Lakeland. Um, I can say, here's an image, here's a, a post, you know, keep it going. Don't ever give up. Right. And then I can put in uh, an image here and I can just go back and find something really inspiring uh, that I've made. So here's one. We'll just do that. Keep it going. Don't ever give up. Add message. So it knows that this is generic enough content that if I don't have a message scheduled for Monday, if I forget to you know schedule one, uh, or if I just don't schedule one, and there needs to be a message going out Monday morning, um, I can fill this up with content that is generic enough that could fit a motivational type of post, and it will just schedule one to go out for me. It'll just do it on its own and kind of help help me out. It's it's sort of like my little assistant in the background. That's really cool. ReQ Re is very uh, awesome for that. And so I've got uh, a category here, evergreen content, you know, um, and that's pretty much the same thing. I mean, it doesn't have to be a motivational post, but it can be uh, educational posts about a business. So if I'm trying to educate people about whey protein, or if I'm trying to, you know, uh, educate people about uh, energy boosters or BCAAs or pre-workout formulas, um, and it's generic enough so that the the post doesn't have any time-sensitive, you know, promotional um, type of content in it, and it's generic enough, then you could add it as a ReQ message. You could say, oh, this needs to be a ReQ message, um, and then you can just, you can tag it as that, and then it will figure out, oh, well, we can reuse this content in the future. And it'll just do that automatically. It fills in the gaps so that you're constantly posting because you know that the accounts that post uh, consistently and often get better ranking in the social graphs and in SEO. So super big help there. Let's take a look here at analytics. I've got to talk to you here about analytics inside of CoSchedule. This saves my butt a lot of times, <laughs> let me tell you. Um, this, this helps me in very easily just to look so professional to my clients when I'm trying to show them what the performance of you know their content is. So I'll go to, for example, the Instagram report. I'm going to choose uh, we'll, we'll just keep on the GNC train here <laughs> and I can say, I can say, let's start. Oh, let's just look at what October did October 15th. This is kind of where we have our cycles is on the 15th to November 15th. Okay. So this is what happened. There were a total of 45 posts sent, uh, in that time. And it shows when they were sent, uh, days of the week, and time of day. And then it shows me some really interesting information. Uh, it shows the best performing posts were on Saturdays uh, from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. And the best type of post was an image post, not a video post, right? And so here we go. It shows me, boom. Second best, of course, was Monday. And still, the uh, either around lunchtime or in the late evening is when these posts actually performed the best. And then it even breaks it down more. So image posts, video was just behind image posts during that time. Uh, and then it shows me this top six performing posts. And as we can see, top left here, 23 likes, one comment, uh, and this was for a red ribbon run. Tried saying that five times fast. It was a 5K, <laughs> early morning 5K. Um, but people loved that post. So these were the top six performing posts uh, during that time so that we can review 
what do we what kind of content do we need to keep on making going forward in the future so very important stuff uh, but all I do is I you know you can hit share and export it as a CSV but what I like to do is hit control P for print and I just export it as a PDF uh, and I add it into a master PDF uh, with all the other ones, the Facebook report, the Twitter report, everything. Um, and I'll even pull in some Facebook ad analytics and email analytics. I'll put that all into a master PDF. This stuff is done for me. I don't have to, I used to have to go and take screenshots. Uh, I used to, you know, compile a bunch of information. This does it for me. It's incredibly easy. And I, I feel like, you know, my job is done. You know, after I hand in that report, boom, my job is done for that 30 day period where we can all look at the analytics and get a better idea of what's happening. So co-schedule, if you if you haven't uh, checked it out, uh, if you haven't heard of it, if you haven't checked it out, uh, you really need to. Um, it's a very easy way to schedule content, social content for you, uh, your businesses, your clients, if you're a social media marketer, um, this is probably the easiest way to stay the most organized um, and to consistently put out content. There's a lot of people who don't know how to plan out their content, who have a hard time doing that, who feel like, gosh, I, I just can't do this. Um, it's too confusing. And trust me, I've used other platforms that make it feel that way or you feel like you're repeating content constantly um, across different platforms. And it's okay to put the same content ar around all of your different platforms uh, once in a while, but not, not at all at the same time. You know, if your Twitter post, your Instagram post, and your Facebook post are all going out at 11.23 a.m. at the same time, you know, the, the, the networks actually ding you for that. Uh, they they derank certain posts and certain accounts for that. So using the AI feature here for the best time to post, depending on the platform, depending on the day, is really a godsend, and it has helped me tremendously. That's probably the killer feature here in CoSchedule, I would say. Um, and there's lots more features that I'm not even using yet, uh, but I, I'm I'm making it my New Year's resolution to do so. So if you want to learn more about CoSchedule, I have a referral link here in the show notes, uh, in the description. Check it out. You can also go to my website, We Are Nimbus, that's W-E-A-R-E-N-A-M-B dot U-S, and click on the CoSchedule link to learn more. And if you want to sign up, use that referral link, uh, and that'll that'll get you to using one of the best social scheduling platforms on the net. That's all the time we have here today. We'll see you next time on the Nimbus Marketing Podcast.